All right, we got a little expanded form action today. Um, an expanded form is very important, so we have to have this down. Um, it really helps us understand numbers, place value, and gives us an overall better number sense. Um, and we're going to be doing whole numbers only today. We'll do decimals in another video. So we're going to get whole numbers done first, then move to decimals. And what, we, what we're going to do, we have four numbers over here. And we're just going to go through, and you're going to work with me, and I'll put all four of these in expanded form to get that down. You might be thinking, what the heck is expanded form? Well, that's why we'll go through four together. And then I'll follow this up with a practice video where you'll do some on your own. And hopefully you have it down by the end of that. And if not, you can come back to this video and uh, try again. Um, so here we go, and we'll start with number one. Expanded form basically is just expanding a number out. Makes sense, right? You expand it out to show the value of each digit, starting with the greatest value in that number, which is our 9 here. So we're going to start with 900, because that's the value of our 9. And we're going to move to our 3. How much is the 3 worth? What's the value of the 3? The 3 is worth 30. Let's go to our 2, which is worth 2. There you go, you're done. You expanded 932 out to show the value of each digit. Now for expanded form, there's a couple different ways you can write it out for whole numbers. And then once we get to decimals, there's a couple more. So I'm gonna show you both for each of these. So the second way is what I call the parentheses method, and you need to know both. You will see both in fifth grade. So here's the parentheses method. Start with the parentheses, and our first digit is a 9, and our 9 is in the hundreds place. And think, 9 times 100 is the same as 900. So really, we wrote the same thing, it's just a different way of putting it. End your parentheses. Plus, we have a 3 in the tens place. Done with the 3, plus a 2 in the ones place. Boom, you're done. You got all three digits, our nine, our three, and our two. That one is done. That one is done. So I would highly suggest getting this method down first, the basic. And then once you have that down, start trying this out more. Okay? Um, to get both of those down. All right, let's go to number two. So we'll expand this out, starting with the value of the greatest value digit, which is the one, and that one is worth 100,000, plus the value of the five, 50,000, plus how much is that three worth? 300. All right, let's do our parentheses method. We have a one in the hundred thousands place. plus a five, oop, forgot my parenthesis, five in the ten thousands place, plus a three in the hundreds place. Now, notice I skipped over the zeros. Those are just placeholder zeros. Um, and you do not need to show the value of them because they're just zeros, okay? So I skipped over them, so I had three digits in my number that I needed to show in my expanded form. The one, the five, and the zero. Or, I'm sorry, the three. I skipped over the zero. Sorry, I should have said that as I was going through. I will mention that in number three as I go through. So let's start with the eight, our greatest value digit. And that eight is worth... 80 million plus we have a 9 that's worth 9 million plus okay we have three zeros here I can skip over these these are just placeholder zeros and go to my 3 which is worth 300 and then my 1 which is worth 10, 
and then a 0, which I do not need to put. So I had, I'm going to double check, an 8, I have it over here, a 9, I have it right here, a 3, and then a 1. Nailed it. I got them all. So let's do the parentheses way. 8 in uh, 10 millions place. Hopefully I have enough room here. I'm going to cram it. Plus a 9 in the millions place. What do we have next? Our 3, which is in the hundreds place. And then a 1 in the tens place. Got it? Got it. All right, let's do our last one where we go up to the billions. This is a big guy right here, but I think we can do it. So let's start with our greatest value digit, which is that 5. Hopefully we're catching on a little bit. And we're going to expand this guy out. So the 5 is worth 5 billion. Ooh, that's a big one. Plus 900 million. Got some zeros we're going to skip over. Plus 80,000. Plus, going to go down to the next line, 1,000. So I had a 5. Got it. A nine. Got it. Eight. Got it. And a one. Got it. So I'll do parentheses method now to end it off. Yeah, end us, end us here. So we have a five in the billions. There we go. Plus a 9 in the 100 millions plus an 8 in the 10 thousands plus a 1 in the thousands place. We expanded out the value of this number here. Done? Done. So there's uh, expanded form for whole numbers. Uh, be sure to check out the practice video and see if you have it down. All right.